Number one here is advertise using key target audience data. So when we're advertising, it's not like the old days where the, the billboard is on the side of the road and everybody who <clears throat> drives by drives by. We're in a whole different universe of complexity and there's a lot of targeting that happens, but how do we think about using audience data? Yeah, this is really the step one you should go through when you're about to launch a, a social media campaign or really any campaign is um, figuring out who your avatar is. And so we So the persona, the person you're speaking to. Exactly. And okay. so, um, you know, we, we used to only have, you know, back in the television days, we, we the, 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 oh, yeah. the, the the television networks would, would give you generalized data on you know, gender demographics and that sort mm -hmm. of thing. But with social media, we do have, we have the ability to target at such a deeper level. And so it's worth the extra time to go through that research phase and figure out who your customer is, what they're interested, like what are their biggest dreams and aspirations? Mm. Um, what um, are their biggest fears about what might happen inside their business or to them personally, if you're advertising to the consumer? Um, and then beyond that, going beyond their uh, just that and is saying like, what pages do they follow? What Facebook pages do they follow? What conferences do they attend? Mm -hmm. What um, authors do they pay attention to around the thing that you're selling? And anything that you can think about that that points back to what their core motivations are and what their fears are. And, and so going through that exercise, developing that avatar will help you. So you're not sort of going in blind um, uh, when you when you set up your targeting and it, and it will allow you to eliminate waste once you go in. If you do your customer research and maybe you have a lot of customers already and you determine, hey, really no one over 50 buys this stuff. Mm -hmm. We've never sold it to, or maybe no one under 50 buys this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, really go in and do that research, and so you can get that targeting right on. And that's, be, that, that's I think, the most important step, because it also informs mm -hmm. your ad creative, too, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about. Um, knowing exactly who your customer is, um, and maybe you have a few different avatars, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Most, most folks are going to have more than one audience segment, so it's really going to help you divide these different segments so you're not trying too hard with your ad copy. If, if you're trying to put the work of self-selection into the ad copy, you're going to lose character space. You're, you're going to lose you're going to lose real estate and not be able to communicate what you really need to. Right. 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 So um, audience research, the avatar development, the most important uh, part. So do do the work.